Over the last few decades, China has been building artificial islands in the South China Sea, which have raised concerns among other nations and sparked debates over territorial claims. In this video, we will take a closer look at the process of building these artificial islands, the reasons behind their construction, and the impact on the region. Stay with us to find out more. But first, before we kick off, be sure to click on the subscribe button, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Now, let's get it on. The Building Process Artificial islands are typically built by a process known as land reclamation, which involves creating new land in a body of water by filling in the area with materials such as sand, rock, and concrete. The specific methods used for building artificial islands can vary depending on a number of factors, including the size and shape of the desired island, the depth of the water, and the intended use of the island. Like in other places, like Dubai or the Netherlands, the process of building the Chinese artificial islands started with identifying a suitable location. Then, that was followed by creating the desired design for the island. During the site selection, a number of factors were considered, including water depth, proximity to land, and the intended use of the island. This was then followed by the preparation of the site. Before construction began, the chosen site was adequately prepared. This typically involved dredging the seabed to create a level foundation for the island and removing any obstacles or debris from the area. The following step involved building the foundation. Once the site was prepared, the next step entailed building a foundation for the island, firm enough to withstand whatever it was needed for. This was done by placing a layer of large rocks or concrete blocks on the seabed, which provides a stable base for the island to be built on. The next process is where the engineers fill the area. Meaning what, you may be wondering. Well, after the foundation is in place, the next step involves filling in the area with materials such as sand and gravel. This process was typically carried out using dredgers and other heavy equipment. It was after this that the final stages of the construction commenced. Once the area was filled in, the island was then built. This typically involved constructing a retaining wall around the island's perimeter to prevent erosion and building up the island with layers of sand, soil, and other materials. Finishing touches included landscaping and erecting other infrastructure that was deemed necessary. But this process is not as easy as it sounds. Building an artificial island can take several years and involves significant engineering expertise and resources. But on the good side, artificial islands can provide valuable land for a variety of purposes, such as housing, commercial development, and recreation. And the Chinese got it right with the birth of this mighty project. Reasons Behind Construction China has been building these artificial islands for several reasons, including military, economic and political considerations. The islands serve as military outposts, allowing China to extend its reach and protect its interests in the South China Sea. They also provide economic benefits, as they are used as ports and provide access to valuable resources such as oil and gas. In addition, constructing these artificial islands has allowed China to reinforce its territorial claims in the South China Sea and assert its dominance in the region. One of the key reasons behind the construction of these artificial islands is to enhance China's military capabilities. The islands are equipped with military facilities and ports, which allow China to extend its reach and protect its interests in the region. This is particularly important in the context of the South China Sea, where several nations have overlapping territorial claims and tensions have been rising in recent years. The construction of these artificial islands has also provided significant economic benefits. The islands serve as ports and provide access to valuable resources like oil and gas. 
This has allowed China to develop its infrastructure and support its growing economy. The ports on these islands also serve as a hub for trade and commerce, which has positively impacted the region. The impact of these artificial islands has been far-reaching and has sparked numerous debates and tensions in the region. Other nations such as the Philippines, Vietnam and Malaysia have raised concerns over China's territorial claims and the impact the islands could have on freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. There have also been environmental concerns, as the construction of these islands has caused significant damage to the ecosystem and the delicate balance of the marine environment. China's construction of artificial islands in the South Sea began in 2013 with the building of structures on the Fiery Cross Reef. Since then, China has built artificial islands on several other reefs and shoals in the Spratly Islands, including the Subi Reef, Mischief Reef, and Quarteron Reef. These islands have been equipped with runways, ports, and other infrastructure and have been used for military and civilian purposes, as mentioned earlier. The construction of these artificial islands has also raised concerns over the potential militarization of the South China Sea. The presence of military facilities on these islands has increased tensions in the region, and other nations have expressed concern over the potential impact on freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. In conclusion, China's artificial islands in the South China Sea have been the subject of much discussion and debate in recent years. The process of building these islands is complex and requires significant resources, but they serve multiple purposes, including military, economic, and political objectives. The impact of these islands on the region and the world is still unfolding, and it remains to be seen what the future holds for those who feel affected. And that's it from us today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, share the video, and remember to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Thank you.